So here's a fun fact for you. One of my all-time favorite games is called Splunky. It's genuinely challenging, addicting, funny, and super fun in local multiplayer, and it's just wrapped up in one nice little package. Well, I think I may have finally found a game that captures all of those characteristics. It's called Vagante, developed by Nuke9, and it's currently in early access on Steam. Now I know, I know, roguelikes are kind of a dime a dozen nowadays, especially on early access, and you know how skeptical I am with early access in the first place, but the thing that I love about Vagante is that it has the depth and challenge of a game like Binding of Isaac, along with the satisfaction and entertainment of Splunky. To start, you get to choose between several different classes, and each of them have their own pros and cons. My favorite is probably the Warrior or the Wildling. The Warrior is super tanky and has a variety of really nice utility skills, such as a downward jab and holding up a shield. The Wildling is a completely different beast. In fact, he has a lot of really awesome skills like this one that lets out a roar and a crazy stomp. The only bad thing is that he's super squished compared to the Knight. Of course, there are the Rogue and the Mage as well. Rogues can use bows and have stealth, while Mages have a lot of magic potential. The systems in place here are much more complex than other games in the genre. The previously mentioned skills, a full inventory system, shop, magic, potions, and experience in a level up mechanic are all implemented. Whereas other roguelikes are randomized, Vigate lets you pick a build for every run. It makes it feel like it's truly your own adventure, especially the randomized items. For example, you might find a pair of boots that make you fall slowly and therefore negate fall damage. Or your amulet might be cursed with a magical guardian, which doesn't really seem like a curse to me, but who am I to judge? I suppose I should admit something here, I haven't made it very far in Vigante. I've played it plenty, and I've tried each and every time so hard, I really did. But this game is just so hard. Like, you have no idea, you will die a lot. Whether you accidentally fall on spikes, anger the shopkeep, get poisoned by a giant worm, get squished by falling blocks, it's like there's a thousand ways to die in here. But the thing is, it all feels extremely fair. Every time you die, it's basically your fault. Like, damn it, I shouldn't have jumped there, or I shouldn't have tried to steal from the shopkeeper. Yeah, don't steal from the shopkeeper. He'll destroy you by hitting you in the face with his big old fat bag of money. I think one of my favorite things about Vagante, as of right now, are the bosses. There's a boss in every level, and if you kill it, you'll automatically level up after you find the exit to that floor. There's some good ones in here, like a giant poisonous worm and a fat dragon that shoots fireballs at you. In fact, I'd love to see some more bosses in here, and I know I haven't seen all of them, but I'm imagining like Diglets or something popping out, I don't know. After all, we don't really know what Diglet looks like underground. The final feature that I want to mention in this uh, quick little review is the multiplayer. There's an online multiplayer, so you and three other amigos can fight alongside and make your way through the game's four acts. And trust me, you'll want to have the support of your friends because you won't make it very far by yourself. The multiplayer mode is where I spend most of my time in Vagante, and it was just an absolute blast. I really had so much fun with this. It's totally possible just to grieve your friends, but it's so funny afterwards. Plus, when you die, you become a skeleton, and you throw bones, and it's super handy. Vagante is a great game. It's available on Steam's early access for 15 US dollars, but there is a demo available on their website over at vagantegame.com. If you're a fan of roguelikes like Splunky, this is a worthy alternative that is sure to get better over time. Thank you so much for watching everyone, my name is Game Taco, and I hope you enjoyed this little review. Again, this game is tentative to change because it's currently in Steam's early access program. However, I honestly think that it's just a wonderful title and it deserves the support, plus it's really fun. There are links in the description to Vigante's website. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and possibly a comment. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Peace. It, it looks like the things from Ocarina of Time. And oh, the pose, yeah. No, not the pose. The flaming oh. skulls in Ocarina of Time and like the, How do I... the fire temple. So, like, I don't want to stab him. Okay. Oh. Pick her up, pick her up. Oh, ah, shit. Okay. oh shit. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. 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 Run. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Stop, keeper. I'm sorry. Oh, god. <laughs> I saw what you think it is. How do I go in? Okay. Whew.